Last November, the Philippines sued China and an international maritime court over disputed islands. China said no, it will not accept compulsory arbitration on maritime sovereignty. And that decision generated lots of media attention that portrayed China as a big regional bully, militarizing islands, breaking international laws. Well, here's what these reports did not mention. International law, conventions, treaties, protocols, you name it, are in essence grand bargains between self-interested nation states. Some of these bargains are so-called no-reservation treaties, meaning countries signing them will have to commit to basically every word of them. For that reason, some countries refuse to sign these treaties. There are over 30 international laws the U.S. did not sign or ratify. Now, some agreements like the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea allow what are called reservations. When you do not agree with a particular term of it, you may declare you do not accept it. Article 298 of the law explicitly said a state may declare in writing that it does not accept any one or more of the ways the law proposes to settle territorial disputes. This might sound controversial, but in reality, nearly 40 countries did that. Australia, Argentina, Canada, Denmark, the list goes on. To speak nothing of the U.S. who did not ratify the law in the first place. So, in saying no to compulsory arbitration on sovereignty, China has plenty of company in the Western world.